Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Booze and Chill. And today we're doing cocktails and uh, two kinds of cocktails to be exact. And we're going to be diving into just overall just cocktails. Just cocktail mastering, mad magic, all kinds of good kind of cocktail stuff. I've said cocktail so many times. Let's just go on with this damn show. Like I mentioned, we're going to be doing all sorts of cocktail fun, and uh, I'm just going to skip along because I have, honestly, I'm pretty excited because there's a whole bunch of toys and drinks next to me, but before we do that, I'm going to introduce my guest. Boom! Alejandro, is, am I saying that right? Angelo. 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 My bad. <laughs> and that I can't read obviously so yeah uh, anything you want to say uh name's Angelo Lita uh I go by Jello it's awesome you know also because I heard in Big Bang Theory one time that the dude was like I want to be named Angelo so that way people would be like yo Jello oh I love that um but yeah uh, I've been bartending for 10 years I've had my mixology certification for five years um I love what I do I love bartending I love cocktails I love making up new stuff um Today I'll be showing some new stuff that I got actually because I was entered into a contest that I did not make it in time for. <laughs> yeah. Busy uh, life. Busy, busy. So that's exactly what's going to happen today. So uh, I guess let's get yeah, right let's on get to it. Yeah. Okay. So first one that we're going to make, I actually got a little practice in um, on Friday with it. Uh, that's why it's kind of low. Uh, this is a yuzu liqueur that we're going to be using. It is awesome. It tastes really good. And I'm going to be pairing it with some passion fruit puree, uh, cranberry juice, peach syrup that I make myself, which is awesome. It's super delicious. And yeah, it's being really delicious. We're going to be putting that in that Sweet. East Martini glass right here. So yeah, let me make some ice for you. That's a little embarrassing, the fact that I got that name wrong. <laughs> it's okay, it happens. But you know... No, it could be worse, man. A dude called me Andrew for two years, and I I didn't have the heart to correct him. Like I, yeah, it, it was um. Uh, coach, if you're out there, man, I'm sorry. I didn't correct you for two years. It was so bad. Um. So yeah, it was when I first started bartending at Carino's, and honestly, I was. I was new to it. I didn't want to upset a lot of people, so I was like trying my hardest at times, and um, it was hilarious. Uh, for two years, he just kept on calling me coach, and I didn't have the heart to tell him like, "Hey, dude." I mean, he, coach kept on calling me Andrew, and I just didn't have the heart to tell him like, "Hey, dude." Uh, just so you know, um, name's Angelo, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to that coach out there. Shame on you. Get to know your damn students better. <laughs> he was a cool guy, though. Um, <laughs> Every now and then, I do see him when I do private events for AVG. By the way, I do a lot of private events. They're pretty awesome. Uh, if you have me a bar center for private events, I do those. Mm -hmm. The links all on the socials will be in the description. All right, here we go. How I imagine you uh, that every bartender has a smile. Yeah, we do. I was watching, I, was watching, uh, I, I forgot to send you the link to the bartender that I follow, but I, I will send it to you. And he's got this, this very particular smile, just like you. I just like yeah, the, 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 look at it, look, look at it, just look at it. How much? How much did that small cost you again? Uh, so <laughs> you go to the bar I work at. I swear I overshare way too much. <laughs> and he's um, not drinking, by the way. I don't drink uh, when I work. I don't like to. I like to keep a calm mind. But um, yeah. So I invested into a deep clean of my teeth and everything like that. And yeah, it was like close to two thousand dollars. <clears throat> to actually over two thousand dollars. <laughs> two thousand dollar smile, and can make a cocktail like a motherfucker. So this is what again? It's yuzu liqueur with some uh, passion fruit puree, cranberry juice, uh, peach uh, syrup that I made at scratch. By the way, from scratch. Ooh yeah! Shout out. Ooh. And it's, just, it's really delicious and sweet, honestly. It has no like name. Yeah, none. No. Uh, let me see. Oh, has like a martini, a martini, and uh, what is it? What is it? It's like it's limey and sweet. There's a 
There's jam in there, isn't there? No, there's no gin. No, it reminds me of jam. Jam. Oh, jam. Uh, that was probably the cranberry with the uh, passion fruit puree. No, oh, that's probably what I'm getting. These are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blend up. Okay. Okay, then it's, yeah, it's a margarita and jam had a baby. And this is what it meant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been my submission, chilled. That would have been it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the composition I was supposed to answer was called uh, the Bartender Society St. James Emery Brizard. So it is an amazing thing. It's by Chilled Magazine. If you ever get a chance, look up Chilled Magazine. Go to chilledmagazine.com. Check them out. They're amazing people. Uh, Wendy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't make it in time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, it's, it's sad because it even says this deadline right there and i just i really did not did not look that at that was right there oh dude i mean sometimes it happens right it happens yeah but uh hey you still got you still got the mad skills to show up Sweet. so okay so also uh, i brought a friend of mine uh his name's russell uh i got to do an event uh go to an event recently with uh wild turkey and i learned a lot from them and it is amazing bourbon and if you ever get to try it it is delicious and if you ever get to take a tour just know as soon as you step into the distillery the first person you're gonna meet is jimmy russell and he is the oldest like i think he's the bourbon like uh taster or something like that for what it is but it, the exact name for it but He's the oldest of that, and he is still working till this day, and it is amazing. Like just to have an experience to meet this guy. I didn't get that experience, but I, if you ever get to go to the distillery, an amazing experience, and grab yourself a shot glass. Oh, do another one you said, yeah. right? Go for it. This is gonna be the only time I drink and work at the same time, so let's go ahead and do this. And I pre-drank before starting this shit. I did not. <laughs> Someone had to work today, and uh, by the way, uh, I work at Scratch. If you guys ever want to go, stop by there and try some of the drinks. I'm making a new menu, by the way, and it'll be coming out hopefully by next week. So it's gonna be amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Oof. So yeah, that's a Russell's Reserve. Very delicious bourbon. It is delicious. Woo! Very strong too. And let's go into the next cocktail. Ten years of experience. Good. The drink is good. No name yet, but I mean, look at this shit, dude. Look at it. Pink, rosy. It like uh, wants to be a margarita, but it also wants to be something along the lines of jam. Like I said, something sweet. Yeah, it's out there. That's all we eat. No, no, they're not quite. <laughs> Here. Where are we in? We're almost 10 minutes in, so if you've made it this far, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. If you are new, if you're into um, cocktails, beer reviews of all kinds of styles, sometimes food and movie reviews, hit the bell notification for the next upcoming video. Now let's get the shit running. All right. So for this one, we're actually going to use the wrestlers as well. That's why I wanted to give you a little taste of what you're about to get as well. Nice. So, a little bit of Russell's, that bourbon. Good bourbon. Uh, honestly, I never recommend mixing with a bourbon this good, but honestly, um, I didn't have a cheaper one on me, and this is literally sitting on my desk uh, at home, just whenever I play video games and my buddies want to do <laughs> one of those nights where it's like, take a shot every time you lose, you know? Ah, uh, it's one of those situations. Yup. Okay. So this is actually the first time I'm experimenting with this recipe. Um, Chilled Magazine, I'm sorry, once again, I didn't make it in time for this. Uh, hey, let's, let's make it, let's make it more, say, apologize to this one. Alright, here we go. It's more, yeah. more subtle, it's just, uh, just you. <laughs> Chilled Magazine, I am so sorry that I did not make it in time. I wish I had a violin to play in the background. I'll, I I'll, I'll maybe, I'll maybe add that. I'll maybe add the, um, <laughs> but guess what? I'm gonna try and attempt the new recipe right now with one of your chocolate liqueurs. Here we go. Woo! There we go. And as far as not having cheap whiskey, if you do have, you know, fancier whiskey, it's fine. If, if it's yours, it's your bottle, it's fine, right? Mix with it, yeah. do what you want. That's why I'm missing with this one. Yeah. Here we go. And this is fresh espresso that I brewed earlier today at work. Thank you, Scratch, for letting me take, by the way, uh, espresso and the peep syrup. Appreciate y'all. 
Yeah, they didn't need to know that I took it. <laughs> in case you wanted to know, now you do. But it, it, let, just letting you know, it's in good hands. It is. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it back tomorrow. I work tomorrow. Uh, this is Aztec chocolate bitters that I'm adding to this as well. And some French vanilla. Ooh. I like it in my coffee and now in a cocktail. Sweet. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Every freaking cocktail mixer bartender has a smile. Look it up. It's a thing. I swear to you. We have to practice it, man. Yeah. Honestly, like, um, okay. So in January, I actually went to New York for a bartending school, a European bartending school, which is awesome. But during the course, by the way, shout out to EBS New York. You guys are awesome. I learned so much, and I just hit the mic. Um, <laughs> shout out to my roommate, Jonas. You're amazing. One hell of a German. And yeah, can't wait to see you, dude. This is the cocktail that I created with the chocolate liqueur that they, chocolate royal liqueur that by Marie Brizox. Son of a bitch, it smells amazing. My wife is probably gonna watch this, but you're probably, I'm gonna save this for you, trust me. I'm gonna save this for you. But I'm gonna be the first one. <laughs> Yep. And then the Russell's works perfectly well with it. Honestly, I don't think uh, like a generic whiskey would probably taste this good. Probably not. But probably yeah. not. But I mean, still good. The coffee, dude. Hell yeah. I, I, know this, I know this channel is called Booze and Chill, but I'm also big on coffee. Oh, good. So, yeah. Then I, I chose right there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that is cool, man. I was like getting ready today. Like last night, I was like, oh, wait, you know what? I should take one of the other liqueurs besides the Yuzu. Let me think what I'm going to bring. And I was like, I know I'm going to bring the Russell. So I was like, let me see what I could find that goes great with it. And then the other one was, um, I think it was like a an herbal liqueur and then a uh, VSOP, like, um, like a like a cognac, mm -hmm. so I was just like, oh, okay, you know that the cognac and this will probably not create something that like great. I kind of want to try the cognac by itself, anyways. Yeah, because that sounds delicious. And I would yeah. love to have that. You know, chilled magazine once again. Things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, what did I say? Ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to try something new, so I did the chocolate core chocolate. Because you know this, of course, chocolate, chocolate, yeah, not chocolates, chocolate, chocolate. Is that how they pronounce it there, or it's like a misprint? I I think it's just a, you know, it's probably a misprint. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm not gonna even lie, it does look there. It does. Yeah, it was like about to be like chocolate. You missed it by a letter. <laughs> almost there. You're almost there. But yeah, these are the drinks that I wanted to show off today. And then especially the Yuzu one, I uh, had a lot of fun with that. Um, every Friday and Saturday, you will you can catch me at uh, Jardin Cadenas downtown and in Interribe. Uh, I do little um, like pop-up bartending like cocktail stuff. So every now and then I do something new. Last night, uh, last two nights ago. Friday night, <laughs> um, I did a uh, Cosmopolitan and a Woo Woo. A Woo Woo, by the way, in case you guys don't know, everybody knows what a Cosmopolitan is. A beautiful martini last drink that uh, they have in Sex in the City. Delicious drink, by the way. David DeGroff, I appreciate you for making that. Uh, the Woo Woo, though, is just vodka, peach liqueur, and your cranberry juice. That's it. And it's so simple. It's a build drink. Make it. And woo Woo, I think Woo Woo, and I think something like, like along, like dirty. -ness. I was going with um, the Woo Girls thing, you know. Woo! Oh, yeah. So uh, I, I was still incorporated as like a dirty joke. So I only got Best one Woo though. I only got one Woo though, dude. I was like, I was so bad about that. I was just like, come on. He just got one in him. <laughs> no, like, the, like the, all, of all the people, there was only one person that was literally just like, Woo, oh, okay, like, Woo! I was like, yes, thank you. Like, <laughs> someone got like, it. Is it because you know, or is it because you don't? Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think anybody understood the concept. Yeah. Well, they drank. <laughs> awesome. So those are the two drinks. Yeah. Right there. Chocolates. If you're big on coffee, then this is this is the, what was this one called again? It doesn't have a name. 
doesn't have a name. They're okay. They're nameless. They are they're nameless. nameless. These are well. These were the attempts that I was gonna do for the, the for the contest. contest. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they didn't have names and literally I didn't have time to. Okay. Name. Top of your head. What would you name that? Top of your head. I'm kind of putting it in spot, but I want to see what you can come up with. Barrel coffee. Barrel coffee. Because it's a barrel bourbon. Shh. Like a barrel bourbon with the. That's espresso. a fucking winner right there, <laughs> dude. Honestly, I um, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Most of the time, whenever I come up with names, they are literally just what's in the drink. <laughs> I mean, it's a start. Uh, it's a start. When I worked at uh, this place called Pasto, I made a drink um called uh the coconut butterfly tea. It had coconut syrup, <laughs> like coconut and butterflies and butterfly <laughs> tea in it. <laughs> Okay, so basically it changed colors and everything, but it had coconut in it, and like, I named everything. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. Yes, yes. Uh, and then uh, I remember another one, Tamarindo Sunrise. It was a take on the Tequila Sunrise. It had Tamarindo Vodka in it. <laughs> it's original. It's original. I Dude, not that, but my names are just... <laughs> hey, but I mean, the point is, I mean, even if they don't have a name, they taste great. They look great, they're presentable, which is what I uh, I think is like part of the whole cocktail making. Not only does it have to taste good, it has to be presentable. And then um, at Scratch, I do have like this aroma thing where basically I set up uh, like a bubble on top of the drink. Okay. Or I can smoke the drink with some like mesquite as well. Because I do like to do a thing where basically uh, it's more on the senses where you see the drink, you taste the drink, you smell the drink before you even taste it. It's like, uh, like even the the orange peel on the glass that I did. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so that's like my wife felt real, real good. Smell it right before you get to the, the drink, and you're already just in in a environment where you're just excited for yeah. that first sip. It, it takes you to a whole different level with the drink. So, yeah, and and honestly, it's something I really love doing because of the fact that like. It, it's more of a play on all the senses, yeah. Like um, for a person who first stops by the bar who hasn't like tried any, who doesn't know any cocktails really or anything like that, like to find out like, oh, well, like there's more to a cocktail than just like having just the liquor poured in and everything like that. There's, there's different ways to show off like the flavorings and pairing the right, like, oh my gosh, I will praise this guy till I die cheese if you're out there you're amazing um he's doing a whole thing where he can he like he's he did bar five which is a totally different um school than I did in New York mm -hmm. but it is on a different level to the point where he can pair the right gin to the flavoring that he's going for the profile of the cocktail so like he can tell you that like okay there's not just juniper in this gin there's also cucumber some of this uh, you can taste the pepper wood or something like that, or peppermint or something like that. And like he can literally nail it down like to the exact flavoring of that and then pair it perfectly to a cocktail that he's trying to make as well. And honestly, that is a new level of what I want to do and like I'm trying to learn as well. But like it is so impressive to see that type of like dedication and stuff like that. And I'm sorry my watch is going up. <laughs> I, it's like right, my phone sorry. is vibrating and then I'm like, Dude, why are you going off though? Um, uh, but yeah, it is I'm muted. I swear, it is so amazing to see like there's like so many new bartenders popping up in Laredo that are literally like having an expansive knowledge of like, um, like cocktails are like uh, more of like the way. So cocktails in the old time when you, uh, people would show up at like seven in the morning and start doing their prep and have prep ready just to be ready by five or something like that you're seeing cocktail like bartenders take that pride in their stuff now doing fresh juices fresh syrups uh making sure that they have an exact uh uh cost percentage like and loss percentage for what they're making and everything like that and is a new level that i'm seeing in bartenders nowadays that is literally just leaving me just floored half the time because I'm just like oh, you say that there's more bartenders doing that but to be honest you're, you're probably the only one that I run into that actually makes his own shit makes his own uh, jams makes his own uh, Zero co stuff, yeah. <laughs> concoctions so wherever these other 
uh, people who make their own shit. I mean, I haven't bumped into one. So oh, dude, you're, like uh, you're the first one. Uh, trust me, dude. We will go out to drink sometime. I will take you to these bars where you can see these amazing bartenders. Um, trust me, uh, Cheese and Nido, you're amazing. Uh, everybody at Nido is amazing because literally they all put so much pride into their cocktails that like you see it, man. It is, it is such a beautiful thing. And then um, Lolitas as well. They do fresh like fruit into their like cocktails with their cucumber martini as well that is fresh cucumber that they're putting in there i should know i used to work there i, I made it a few times <laughs> um uh places like uh capitas uh i know freaking carlos is over there making amazing drinks and he takes pride in that he is such an amazing like bartender um and then like you got places like um uh, there was a place called Sweet Dreams that was downtown where this guy, owner, Derek, he literally cared so much. He wanted to bring classic cocktails to the downtown scene. Mm -hmm. He was using stuff like uh, Fernet, uh, Fernet, Fernet Blanca and like uh, freaking uh, uh, Prosecco. Pr yeah, Prosecco in like cocktails for a place downtown, dude, where like people would just want like a quick, like, oh, give me a. Uh, uh, bourbon and coke you know and they don't even care what bourbon they get half the time <laughs> but like he was trying to bring like Monsters. classic cocktails dude to downtown it is such an amazing thing to see him at and then like um of course you got people who are just doing the private party event stuff like uh benjamin cortez he's a bartender from lolitas as well mm -hmm. does private events but he takes pride in his stuff and does fresh ingredients as well man nice but like i said you're probably like the only one that I know that actually makes this, but I mean, kudos to all the other ones out there that I don't know about. Sorry, I don't know about you. It kind of has to do with the fact that I don't really get a lot of chances to go out. The fact that I was actually able to go. Dude, I freaking <laughs> that. Dude, showing up like that, that was so awesome. Yeah. And it was, it was so much fun. And then getting to experiment, uh, the wish on the eyelash that was like my favorite drink oh, with the fire and everything like that. That was so fun. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's in Patreon. Go become a Patreon and you will see his, him and his like environment doing his thing. You will not be disappointed. So become a Patreon today and uh, you get to see fire. Yes, there's actual fire, literal fire. But uh, I don't know, anything else you want to add? Um, if you guys ever want to stop by and see me, stop by Scratch. Honestly, I have so much fun there. I have a lot of creative freedom there which is so amazing because they allow me to make my own cocktail menu that will be coming out next week hopefully um use my tools like my flavor blaster which is basically my aroma maker and like uh bubble maker that you guys saw yeah just so much fun it's fucking hella fun and especially if you like you get a cocktail with it and like you just let let it burst on your nose and you get this full aroma like oh it's so great uh and then i got my wood smoker there as well I've got like most of my tools there. I've got my books there too, because I love like looking at over stuff like that. And yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, give, a, give a follow to Scratch, EBS New York, Barnito, uh, places, Jardin uh, Cadenas, these are places that are giving me a chance to express myself, show off some stuff or like giving me the knowledge that is so amazing. Go show love to these places, it's, it, they, they're amazing. And if I can get the links, which I'm sure you'll yeah. pass them on, I will put them in the description. So you guys can check that out. Check all his socials. Check out his uh, private events, prices. You can, I'll, I'll, is it okay if I can put yeah. a phone number yeah. in there? Oh. I'll leave a phone number so you guys can like call him up, mention prices for your private events. But me first. Shotgun first. But anyways, uh, that's it for that episode, guys. Uh, thank you for joining today Dude, honestly, it was a blast thank you for having me um i i uh i i, I am so excited that this happened honestly i it's probably the wrestles talking a little bit more than me uh but uh yeah man um it is so amazing like everything that like this setup is so cool and then i like the camera setup too and like the lights oh my god you you are so official <laughs> like i i used to do streams at my house and it was nothing like this <laughs> they, i i try i try this is awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But yeah, that's it for that. Again, all his socials, all his information, and all the places he just mentioned will be in the description. And uh, I guess that's it for that, guys. And you know how this works. Uh, you guys keep uh, liking, subscribing, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah.
Yeah. Usually, would you be down for another one? Yes, I would. Okay, because usually I always end it by drinking something. All right, we're going to drink another shot of Russell's Oak. So we're doing it like this. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is beautiful, bro. Yeah. This is actually how I wanted my day to end after like a hard day of work. By the way, uh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, this is a shot glass that I actually got the last time I visited Chicago. I love going there. Amazing places to see there. Amazing bars to see there. Nice. Cheers. If you keep watching, I'm going to keep drinking. Cheers. Whoa. Yeah, this, these, are, these are supposed to be given to you while we were recording, but I totally forgot. But This is so cool. This is like a little shot tray. Yeah. I love this. So what size is it's, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually a game. It's a game? It's a game. It's a game? It's, it's a, a game? It's a game. I it's Flip Cup! I figure since you do your private events, you can have all your guests flip this shit and just oh, get drunk. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yes, dude! I have an event on the second I'm gonna use this for, dude. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll take this downtown on fucking Saturday, dude. Have people fucking like, alright, there's some shots in there. Whoever fucking flips it right gets a shot. Like, winner gets free shots. Yep. Where are the top three? This is so cool, dude. And then they make these fucking staples. Whoa. Yeah. And then, oh, look, I didn't even get to see the shirt. Dude! I'm wearing it to work. <laughs> they say I could wear black shirts. They didn't say it didn't, couldn't have a design on it. I'm just saying. Oh, they know. fucked up by yeah, not saying that. You did not tell me it couldn't have a design. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Monday shirt. This is tomorrow's shirt. I'm already going to wear it tomorrow. I'd like to take this time and thank Angelo Lira for joining in this video. Thank you so much, bro. You were amazing. Your drinks are amazing, super tasty, and they're you're a true master of your craft, honestly. And if you guys enjoyed that last part, you can actually continue seeing more of the before and after in patreon.com. So you can go ahead and become a patreon today and see all of the behind the scenes stuff on all the before and after and everything else in between. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. And I will see you in the next one. And remember, if you keep watching, I'm gonna keep drinking. Peace.